If you're over 50 and training hard but getting weaker, flatter, or more beat up, <laughs> your muscle is ignoring you. That's what they call anabolic resistance. Now, anabolic resistance means that your muscle no longer responds to the effort the way it used to. You can lift heavy, you can sweat more, you can train more often, and your body just looks at all of that work and says, mm, not necessary. That's why men over 50 often train harder, eat cleaner, and still lose muscle. Okay, so let's stop treating anabolic resistance like it's some buzzword, because this isn't a trend. This is your body changing the rules without asking your permission. When you were younger, muscle responded like a loyal soldier. You trained, you ate, you showed up. After 50, muscle becomes a contractor. It doesn't work for motivation. It doesn't work for effort. It works for proof of necessity. Anabolic resistance means your muscle has developed a higher tolerance for stimulus. What used to trigger growth now barely registers as background noise. Your body is no longer impressed by what you used to do. Your body's asking a different question now. Do I still need this muscle tissue to survive? Now, if that answer is unclear, muscle gets downsized. Anabolic resistance isn't just about age. It's about priority. As you get older, your body has to prioritize energy conservation, joint protection, inflammation control, survival efficiency. You see, muscle is expensive tissue. It costs calories. It costs recovery. It costs resources. So unless muscle is clearly required, the body trims it. Muscle loss after 50 isn't punishment. It's budgeting. This is where most strong men get blindsided. They train harder, they sweat more, they grind longer in the gym, and the body responds by saying, Haha, that's effort, not fret. Effort creates fatigue. Fret creates adaptation. You see, anabolic resistance means partial fiber recruitment doesn't count. Junk volume doesn't count. Pump doesn't count. Soreness doesn't count. Only full recruitment under control counts. After 50, if your hardest set doesn't feel negotiated, they weren't hard enough. Now you've got to think of muscle like a private security detail. When danger is obvious, they stay on the payroll. But when life looks safe, predictable, and low threat, they get laid off. Anabolic resistance is the layoff process. Now, what actually breaks anabolic resistance? Well, you don't beat anabolic resistance by doing more. You beat it by doing less, louder. You beat it by doing less, louder. That means fewer sets, slower reps, clean attention, closer proximity to true failure, and better recovery between sessions. The signal has to be clear enough for that body to say, we still need this muscle. Now, if you finish a workout and feel proud, but on change, anabolic resistance, just one. Now, I want to be clear, because anabolic resistance is why maintenance training always fails. Lightweights with high reps, they stop working. Random workouts produce random results. Effort stops being rewarded. It's not that muscle won't grow after 50. It's that muscle demands proof now. And proof isn't how tired you feel. Proof is how necessary you made that muscle. Okay, so after 50, muscle doesn't respond to protein the way it used to. You know, the same meal that once triggered growth now barely moves the needle. 
That's not because protein has stopped working. It's because their threshold has moved. So let's quickly talk about the leucine threshold because that is super important. Muscle protein synthesis is not a dimmer switch. It's a light switch. So below that threshold, nothing happens. Above it, the system turns on. After 50, that switch requires more total protein, higher leucine concentration, which is the major muscle building amino acid. Better timing. And sipping, I just want you to bear this last bit in mind, sipping protein all day doesn't build muscle after 50. What it does, it just teaches the body that muscle is optimal. This is where good intentions die. You can hit your daily protein target and still lose muscle. Why? Well, because muscle doesn't count totals. It responds better to events. Anabolic resistance means muscle needs a stronger signal per mil, not just more mils. That's why grazing like a cow or snacking and clean eating all of the time often fails men over 50. Now here's a part that many people don't talk about, and that is digestion as part of anabolic resistance. Now after 50, stomach acid often declines. Digestion slows, absorption becomes less efficient. Eating massive slabs of meat doesn't guarantee muscles get fed. It often just guarantees bloating, reflux, and wasted amino acids. Now, if protein isn't digested, it isn't anabolic. Nostalgia doesn't override physiology. Okay, so we know what anabolic resistance is now. And now we're trying to find more ways that we can combat that so our training becomes more effective. So a way that we can combat that head on and smash that is by using whey and leucine as the dynamite pairing straight after training. You see, post-workout, your body is primed, but it is mighty fragile. See, blood flow is high, inflammation, that's elevated, and digestion is now compromised. So your body, was under attack in that training session. Digestion is the last thing on your body's mind. Survival is everything. So it's moved blood to the muscles, hearts, and lungs. Digestion now is at the back of the queue. This is not the time to test your gut with steak and fiber. Whey works because it digests fast. It delivers amino acids quickly. It minimizes digestive workload. Now, leucine, that matters because it guarantees the threshold that we were talking about earlier. It makes sure that we cross it. It reduces the reliance on digestion and the extraction of those amino acids in whey, or if you was going to eat a solid meal. That now, when you take whey with leucine, it jumps over the queue, and now we can get leucine into the bloodstream much faster. It speaks directly to the muscles and ignites that system to start to grow and repair. You see, after 50, protein is no longer nutrition. It's communication. And your muscles only listen when the message is loud enough. The mission continues. Peace.